In this exercise we will carry out an optimal remote control switch placement. This function is a heuristic planning tool, which optimizes the placement of a fixed number or optimal number of remote control switches per feeder or backbone, according to a selected objective function such as the minimization of energy not supplied. Activate the optimal RCS placement study case. Choose the distribution network tools toolbar. And carry out a backbone calculation. Ensure that you generate backbones for all feeders and that the calculation is based on network structure. Execute the calculation. Choose the optimal power restoration toolbar and run an optimal RCS placement calculation. On the basic options page, ensure that the for all feeders option is selected, and that the objective function is minimize ENS. Make sure that the number of new remote control switch per feeder, per backbone is set to 1. Ensure that the recording of results is set to save results in variations. On the advanced options page, ensure that RCS placement is set to, for selected backbones separately. Execute the command. This may take some time. You can see the results of the calculation in the output window. You can see that one new RCS is created for each backbone of each feeder. We will now check the solution by running a reliability assessment of the existing network. You can see that the optimal RCS placement has created a folder of new network variations. Each variation has a single expansion stage containing the new RCS placement. First we will run a reliability assessment without the addition of any of the new RCS placements. Execute it with the default options. If we look at the results of the assessment, you can see that the energy not supplied, ENS is equal to 8,646 megawatt hours per annum. If we now activate one of the variations, and rerun the reliability assessment, you can see that the ENS has reduced. This indicates that the solution is a good one.